In this video, I'm going to take you through BakerySwap, the decentralized exchange based on the Binance Smart Chain. This platform, and therefore tutorial, is very similar to a recent upload that I created on PancakeSwap. So if you want to fast forward to certain segments of the video, I'll pop a timeline in the summary below. Also, just be aware that although I'm showing you the process of how to use these platforms, I don't necessarily keep my crypto in them longer term, and I usually withdraw shortly afterwards. This is because it's far too hard for me to keep a track of my portfolio otherwise. So if you're familiar with the likes of Uniswap or SushiSwap, you'll have no problems understanding and get into grips with BakerySwap, which is very similar in design. However, the main difference is that instead of using the Ethereum network, you'll be connecting to the Binance Smart Chain and trading with BEP20 tokens as opposed to Ethereum or ERC20 tokens. At the time of this recording, the Ethereum network is heavily congested and gas fees are at an all-time high. Therefore, many users are trying to find ways to save money on fees when interacting with decentralized apps or DeFi. One such way is by using apps that work on the Binance Smart Chain instead, where the fees are considerably lower, plus in my experience it's fast. BakerySwap uses an automated market maker or AMM model, meaning that there's no order books and they use liquidity pools instead. They also have their own bake token, which has recently rallied, and the token supports the whole BakerySwap infrastructure. But BakerySwap isn't just an exchange. You can also earn by becoming a liquidity provider and adding your tokens to the liquidity pools. You can stake and bake, create special NFT models, get your own NFT pets, and get involved in ETH 2.0 staking. All of which I'm going to show you during this tutorial. Plus, I'll also show you how to unwind the whole process too, showing you how to unstake, remove liquidity and withdraw your tokens back to an exchange. To get started, you'll want to head across to bakeryswap.org and you'll need to connect up a compatible wallet that's connected to the Binance Smart Chain. As you can see, you can connect up the likes of Metamask or Wallet Connect. I'm going to be connecting up my Metamask wallet today, which is connected to the Binance Smart Chain. If you're not too sure about how to do this, you can check out everybithelps.co.uk for my full tutorial, where I explain how to connect up your MetaMask wallet to the Binance Smart Chain. And once you have that all set up, you'll need some BNB to pay for the transaction fees. Now I have some BNB over on the Binance Exchange, and I'm going to send that across to my wallet now. And if you don't already have a Binance account, I've got a link in the summary below that will give you some money off your trading fees. And I'll need to copy my MetaMask address from the top of the screen here, where it states account. Then paste that into the recipient address. And I'll need to transfer that using the Binance Smart Chain Network, as that's where our wallet is connected to. And I'm going to go ahead and authorise that withdrawal using my YubiKey, which I use instead of Google Authenticator as my extra level of two-factor authentication. And I can view that transaction on the BSC scan, which is very similar to the likes of Etherscan, but for checking out your transactions on the Binance Smart Chain. So once you have some tokens to start trading, let's head across to the exchange. And I've got BNB in my MetaMask wallet, which I want to exchange for bake tokens. So BNB is selected from the top section here, and I'm going to swap 0.5 BNB. Then I'll select bake, from the drop down. And it will show you the estimated amount that you're going to receive. This is because there can be some slippage, there's some fees to pay, and also some price impacts, which are due to the movement and the size of the liquidity pool. Underneath that, it will show you the minimum that you'll receive, and the transaction will revert if there's a large, unfavorable movement before it's confirmed. It will show you the price impact, which is the difference between the market price and the estimated price due to trade price and it will show you the liquidity provider fee, which goes to the liquidity providers. And that's something that I'm gonna show you how we can earn in a moment. Then when you're happy, you can swap, where you'll see a confirmation of your order. And you'll need to confirm the swap from within your wallet, which in my case is obviously Metamask. And 
And if we check that transaction, you can see here that I've only had to pay 32 cents, which is really small. So now that I've got my BNB and I've got my bait tokens, I can provide liquidity. So if I head to the pool tab now, this is where I can start earning those fees that we just had to pay when we were exchanging. So I'm going to click on to add liquidity and I'll be adding to the BNB and bake pool. When you enter the amount or click onto the max button in either input field, the equal share will then populate in the other box. This is because you'll need to deposit an equal share of tokens into the pool. And you may find that you need to play around with these amounts a little bit too, as you'll need to have some BNB to pay for the transaction fees. You'll then see the prices in the pool share and the share of the pool that you'll have after supplying the pool. And first, you'll need to approve the bake transaction within your wallet. And you'll need to pay a fee before you can confirm your supply. Now one thing to mention here is that sometimes the site can be a little bit slow, so you may just need to be patient. You can then just confirm that in your wallet again, where you can see that that's cost me 48 cents. Now when you add liquidity, you receive pool tokens called liquidity provider or LP tokens. These tokens essentially track your contribution to the pool and you'll earn fees proportional to your share of the pool, which can be redeemed at any time. The liquidity that you provide is then used when someone makes a trade, and in this example of BNB and Bake on Bakery Swap. Therefore, it's worth mentioning that the ratio of your tokens might change over time, meaning you could end up with more BNB or more Bake, depending on the way that people are trading. Now, if we head across to Earning, from here you can deposit your LP tokens and lock them up in a process that will currently reward you with Bake, BRY, Shield or Weapon tokens. And you can sort these between what's hot, where you can earn Bake, Bake Staking and NFT pools. Now I can stake my LP tokens, and that's entered into what's called the Donut Pool. Again, you'll need to approve the contract if you've not already done so, and pay a fee. Once that's complete, I can now stake my LP tokens by clicking onto the plus icon here. And it shows me my balance, and I can manually enter in the amount that I want to stake, or I can click onto max to stake all my LP tokens. And then I need to confirm. Again, confirming this in your wallet, and pay your fees. So in here, you can now see that I've staked my LP tokens. And you can unstake your tokens at any time with no lockups, and I'll show you how to do that shortly. And it doesn't just stop there either, as you could then go one step further by staking your bake to earn the likes of BRY, Shield and Weapon. So that was how you can exchange, add tokens to the liquidity pool and earn through staking. But what else can you do on their site? Well, there's gamification. And this essentially allows bake holders to bake a meal of their choice, which are known as combo meals. This isn't just a collectible, as the meal can be used to farm bake coins, as every meal carries a staking power, allowing it to earn more bake when staked. And the meal can be traded, or its ingredients can be decomposed back to bake, which gives you 90% of the bake used to prepare the meal. Now this feature was recently paused in order to maintain the uniqueness and the scarcity, however users were unwilling to sell them. Therefore, the bakery has now reopened NFT combos again for a limited time, and that's until March 12th, 2021. And they've done this to increase the ROI of these combos. And the next tab along the top is East 2.0. So if you're interested in participating in East 2.0, but find that the request of 32 ETH is too high, or that the staking period is too long, Binance Staking provides users with a one-click staking service, and 100% on-chain staking income that's distributed to users. Beef is an ETH 2.0 staking token issued by Binance on the Binance Smart Chain and Ethereum, so that users can stake their ETH in a one-to-one -one ratio to get Beef. And BakerySwap is the first platform supporting Beef liquidity farming. And there's an NFT supermarket, where you can get your hands on non-fungible tokens and filter by artists, pets and weapons. And another unique feature 
is the Bakery Swap Launchpad. And this is where you can get access to newly launched projects on the Binance Smart Chain. And the difference here is that instead of regular tokens, these are all NFTs. Now, as I said, I don't personally keep my crypto on all these different sites when I've finished my tutorials, as quite simply, it would be a nightmare to manage. So I'll take you through the process of unwinding this all now. We'll go through how to unstake, remove liquidity, and withdraw back to the likes of Binance. So first, let's unstake. I need to select that donut pool, which is where I'm currently staking my LP tokens. I can harvest the little bake that I've actually earned from staking, which is minimal here. Or I can manually type in the amount into here, or I can choose to unstake all. And I'll need to confirm that within my wallet. So now that my LP tokens have been unstaked, what if I want to remove my liquidity? Well, I'll head across to the Exchange tab now and select Pool. And if I head down to Your Liquidity, from here I can choose to remove. Then I simply use the slider to select the percentage that I want to remove. And it will show me my share of BNB and Bake, and I'm going to need to approve and sign the transaction. And once that's done, I can then remove the liquidity. And again, I'm going to need to pay a fee. Then finally, we'll swap our Bake tokens back to BNB. So select Bake from the top and BNB from the bottom. And I'm going to exchange them all, and then swap. And now that's gone through, my BNB is now in my MetaMask wallet, and I want to send that across back to my Binance account, maybe to trade with. So I'll select Send. And in the recipient details, I'll need to copy the address from over on Binance.com, under the Deposit tab for BNB, and I'll need to check that I have the BSC Network tab selected. I'm just going to copy that address, paste it into my MetaMask wallet. Say I want to transfer them all, and confirm. And that's cost me a couple of dollars. And you can see my deposit history here over on Binance. So that concludes how you can use Bakery Swap. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step by step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.